Hiya guys, so good to see you. Wonderful to have you here. I'm Roger the Shave Lion, and this is episode 190. Woohoo! That's awesome. Alright you guys, today I'm going to be shaving uh, with a different razor blade, so that's kind of exciting. But before I get into that, I just want you to know that Jesus has authority. He really does. And he doesn't have authority just because he's, he works on his own, but he always works in concert with the Father. And this will become very apparent in my reading for today. I just want you to understand that Jesus, who can speak and who can judge and who can do all these things, doesn't do them on his own. He does them because him and the Father are uniquely and forever united. So, we'll get into that in just a little bit. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, let's get into it. The new razor blade I'm going to use today is the Gillette 7 o'clock Sharp Edge. Here is a look at the box. Very nice. Look at that. Nice packaging. This little uh, container has five blades on it. And uh, I've already got it locked and loaded into my Tampa Bay, uh, my Tampa Shave Company's Tampa Edition Razor. Yes, once again, there it is. Lovely, lovely, and lovely. All right. Top side, of course, is going to be the Moto Head Blade. I've decided that. I've had enough shaves on this, but I'm going to still use it today, but I am going to be getting some new blades for it. So I'm going to be picking those up hopefully today. We'll see what happens. The soap for today is going to be Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements La, La Tierra Mojada. Alright, there it is. This is a lovely rose type scented shave soap. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I really like it, it's nice. And I have the matching aftershave by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And then I'm gonna be using my Tampa Shave Company's 24 millimeter Galaxy brush, synthetic, beautiful brush indeed. And of course, yet once again, the Georgetown Pottery Scuttle. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is my shave for today. Come with me for the soaping. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I've got my scuttle, my soap, and my lovely brush, which I'm going to hydrate right now. Let me get this stuck in the water here. And I'm going to squeeze it out best I can. Remember, this synthetic brush holds tons of water. And uh, I'm going to set my scuttle off to the side for right now. And I'm going to grab my shave soap. Alright, let's open this baby up. There we go. And now it's time to load the brush. We're going to go ahead and give it a good load. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you for joining me. May the Lord bless you and help you in your life everywhere you go, no matter what you do. And may He continue to watch over your ways. And don't forget to speak to Him today. If you haven't tried it yet, take some time today and try to speak to him. Believe me, he's he's right there with you, waiting for you to acknowledge him. When you open your heart to him and be quiet, guess what? You will hear his voice, and he will tell you unspeakable things. He will give you the joy of his heart. He will he will just bless you up and down, one side and another. He'll confide in you secrets, things about what's happening in the world today, all kinds of things. So do not underestimate speaking with the Lord. Okay, there we go. That's quite the load on there. And now I'm going to go ahead and transfer the top glop here into my scuttle. Just go ahead and work this out. Here we go, I think I got most of it. Very nice. Whew! 
I got some hot water today, my friends, let me tell you. I really do. <laughs> I'm going to have to get my towel in there. Goodness sakes alive, I think I'm all set up and then all of a sudden I'm not all set up. Well, guess what? I can fix that right now. Alright, you guys. Towels in the wash, ready to go. Alright, we move this forward now. I'm going to move this off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and soap it up. Let's see what we can do to whip it up. Whipping it up. Not soap it up, whip it up. Now I'm just trying with the soap to start. And I definitely am going to need some water. So let me go ahead and add a few drops of water. Not too much. And here we go. Oh yes indeed. It's going to fit. It's going to foam famously eventually. <laughs> this is a very thick hearty cream right now. Wow. I mean it's just coating the side of that bowl. Alright just a little more water. Okay. You know I don't use a lot of water. I try not to. Sometimes I make the mistake and gets a little bit on the difficult side. Okay, well, <laughs> look at that. Interesting. That's going to be very thick on the face. And don't, and believe me, friends, I don't mind it. Okay? Alright, so we're going to let you enjoy the fluff and the stuff here. And I am going to get out God's word. Alright, today's word is coming to us from John chapter 8 beginning of verse 12 and going all the way through verse 18 okay again Jesus spoke to them saying I am the light of the world whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life so the Pharisees said to him you are bearing witness about yourself your testimony is not true Jesus answered, Even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true. For I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two people is true. I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. All right, that was... John chapter 8, verses 12 through 18. Very interesting indeed. Let's go upstairs now and let's unpack this and get the shave on. Join me. Well, hello there. How good to see you. Thank you for joining me. Oh my goodness sakes alive. This should be an exciting shave with the new razor blade and everything. I hope it all goes well. Well, guess what? We're going to give it a try here. But first, of course, we need to enter into Soppy Floppy Towel Territory. And it's a hot to trot towel. Hoo hoo hoo! Good to six alive. Alright. Well, I'm gonna have no problem keeping this towel hot the entire time. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Presenting the towel. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed you. Nice towel. 
Very good. Oh, I'm telling you, the Jews of the day, they really, really are trying to get after Jesus. And it's really kind of unfortunate, you know, because Jesus knows what he's talking about. And yet they're putting up this big fuss. Why? Because he's talking about himself. Well, guess what? He is testifying about himself. But you see, there's not a problem with that. Because his authority far, far outweighs their narrow-minded judgment of Jesus. Let's face it, it's narrow-minded. Because they do not understand who Jesus is, nor do they understand the Father. In fact, if you read further along in this chapter, which I urge you to do, you will see that Jesus literally calls them that they're children of the devil. Their or father, the, their their father is Satan. I mean, it's very interesting. He really, really, really knows who they are. Of course, they're not there to be his friend. They're not there to listen to him or follow him. They're there to derail everything he, they can possibly derail. All right, here we go. First time ever with this particular razor blade, the 7 o'clock by Gillette. So far, a very smooth cutter. Feels good. So what do we do with this? Well, first of all, we have to understand that Jesus never acts on his own authority. Okay, he simply doesn't. And why is this? Because he is one with the Father. In fact, he said it himself in God's Word, not in this lesson, but I and the Father are one. No one comes to the Father except through me. All right? Jesus is very serious about this. When the world is clamoring over their, their misinformed information saying, all roads lead to heaven, Jesus clarifies the issue. Only through me do you enter into heaven. Only through me do you gain access to the Father. Only through me is your life going to be blessed. So, we have to keep that in mind when we're thinking on, on this particular part of God's Word. Because after all, Jesus and God are inseparable. They're like two peeps in a pod. Actually three when you count in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yes, they are inseparable, inseparable, fully inseparable. And What's so interesting here is they're judging purely from a worldly standpoint, you see. They really are. It's all worldly that they're thinking. You know? But God knows the truth. Jesus knows the truth. Those two are together. And they stay together. And Jesus doesn't even say anything apart from what his Father gives him permission to do. You have to understand this, okay? So they're lashing out at Jesus for promoting himself, so to speak, or testifying about himself. They don't like this fact about him because they believe that it's only based on two or more witnesses, which is a biblical concept. But they don't get the picture because they don't see the other half of the equation. They don't understand that here it is. Jesus is the Christ. And God the Father is right there with him and the two communicate. Gosh, you know, it, it's just, it's far beyond even our thinking. My head hurts thinking about stuff like this. You know, 
I mean, it really, it really does, because it's so, uh, it's so foreign to our worldly ways, and that is a problem. But you know, when Jesus speaks, he tells the truth. When he speaks in judgment, even though he doesn't judge anyone, he says, guess what? His judgment is true. Because again, he is never acting on his own behalf. He's always acting in behalf and dovetailing with the Heavenly Father. Gosh, it's just amazing. That was a fantastic first pass. Let's go ahead for our side swipe pass. <laughs> And this soap by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, as you can tell, is very, very luxurious. Ladies, you would love this. If you, if you want to buy a soap and like shave your legs with it, or your armpits, or whatever else you're going to be shaving, this soap is, this would rock your socks off, let me tell you. It is really, really nice. Okay, it's, it's, the scent of it is feminine enough to be good for women, and it is, and it is robust enough for it to be on a man. So, it's a win-win for both sexes on this one. Okay, across the grain, here we go. So yeah, the, you know, these these Jews, unfortunately, are just standing beside themselves. They, they are trying to upset, overturn, and destroy Jesus' ministry at every turn. And yet, Jesus has far greater knowledge and understanding than they do. Even though they themselves think they are the top dog in the world. You know? Well, I think we get fooled that way. I often think that we get the thought that we're something. When honest to God, we're nothing at all. At least in the sight of God. And, uh, that's not to downplay your importance as a person. Well, we have to know that God knows all. And in comparison, we know eh, nothing. Ah, <laughs> uh, getting a little nicky already. All right, well, there it is. Beautiful second pass. And now we're going to go... For the underside, we're going for against the green pass, just underneath and up the sides. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. By the way, just so that you know, I don't select any of the things I talk about. Okay, well, I do page through the Bible, but I ask the Lord what I should speak about to you. And guess what? He always directs me to what He wants. So this was his word for today, for you, and for me. Which is a wonderful thing. So you can know that the things that I'm presenting to you are not my own will, but Jesus' will. Makes me feel good about what I'm doing, believe me.
All right, you guys, that does it for my shave. Baby but smooth. It feels marvelous. Very nice blade. I would not hesitate to recommend the 7 o'clock blade by Gillette. I think it's a nice blade. And uh, we'll see how it performs after two, uh, three or four shaves, you know. It's always interesting to see that. Okay, you guys, guess what time it is? It's fast forward time. Well, it's fast forward time. Let it go. Woohoo! Victory at last. I love it. Oh, it feels so good. Yes, it feels marvelous. All right, time for the scary part. Hmm. We've got ourselves La Tierra Mojadas After Shea by Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements. Okay, here we go. Time for the face. Ooh. Ah. Mmm. A little bit of stinging action there. Have to remember, though, I got pretty close. Baby but smooth. Baby but smooth and pain go hand in hand, you know. Ah. Cakewalk on top compared to the face. Alright, you guys. There you have it. I get to smell fabulous all day long. Wise guy. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Guess what? That's it. Remember, Jesus has the authority. Jesus has the right to judge, yet he doesn't judge. And yet, if his judgment is spoken, it is true. Belong to him. Belong to the right team. Know that he loves you, and know that he has your best interest in heart. Okay, you guys, I love you all. Thank you for joining me today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he give you Nick Free and Baby Butt Smooth Shaves. See you later, everyone. Toodles!